In this uh, video I'm going to explain how to use a spreadsheet I've created for calculating Pearson's correlation coefficient. Um, that's pretty much all it does. It calculates some other statistics with which uh, you'll be familiar, but the main purpose of it is to uh, calculate the correlation co coefficient for two quantitative variables that have a linear relationship. Now, all you really have to do is open the spreadsheet and then paste in your two uh, your two variables, which I will now do. So the key thing is that you've got to put stuff in the right place. So the um, the headings, the names of your variables go into those two cells there, and then your data goes down here. In this case, uh, I've got a sample size of 200, but the way I've designed the spreadsheet is um, it will automatically detect where your data ends and uh, just calculate the correlation coefficient um, using your data. So over here we see the uh, results. Some of this you don't need to worry about. So this little table here is just showing us where your data begins and ends. Um, and that's used by the calculations below. You don't. There's nothing there that you need to change or worry about. This is the actual answer there. That's the Pearson's correlation coefficient, 0 0.30. And then there's a bunch of other statistics here. Um, there's the uh, five number summary there for each variable. Um, there's the upper and lower fence. Um, something to pay attention to is outliers. So I've set it up to calculate how many high and low outliers there are and also to tell you the percentage of outliers in each variable. You should pay some attention to that because if you've got too many outliers then the, um, the, the correlation coefficient may not actually be very informative. Um, also calculated the mean and standard deviations there. Now make a note of this note. Um, as I've explained many times, Pearson's correlation coefficient is really only interpretable if the relationship between the two variables is at least approximately linear. And the best way for you to check that is to create a, um, a scatter plot. So make sure you uh, make sure you do that. And just remember that the the data here has to be quantitative, has to be interval level or ratio level data. So that's all there is to it. Thank you.